Hey, how's everyone doing? Back at you. Good day. Uh, I'll take 10, 12 minutes of your time. I just want to talk about uh, how old is too old to be a gang member. No, no, let's rephrase that. How old is too old to be an active gang member? Because one doesn't have to pull the trigger to be an active gang member. There's other means of being an active gang member. One doesn't have to commit the violence to be an active gang member. Aha, but there's, there's ways. Now, uh, let's get right into it. But first, let me make this statement. I really think there should be a minimum age to get into a gang and a maximum age to get your ass out. But living in the real world, let's get into it. Now, Little Wayne, 13 years old, joined the local gang. And they give him a nickname, a little killer. I mean, a killer. That's killer. And so he's the only killer, so that's big killer. And by the time he turns 21, he hasn't been to prison. And by the grace of God, he's still here with us. And by the time he turned 21, going into adulthood, ah, cut off the line. That's where he should get up out of. And then, in a few months, this girl is going to have a baby. Now, what type of role model are you going to be to your son or, or daughter? When they, as they grow up, and daddy is a gang member. As they grow up. So we talking about down the line, huh? Hmm. But now, your son, she has a son, your girl has a son. And the first thing you do, big killer, is when you take him around and say, oh, look at little killer. Strike one. You haven't even given your son a chance. Hey, you haven't even given your son a chance. You didn't already marked him. You marked him for the game. Because for one, as he grow up, all he's going to be hearing is everybody calling him Little Killer. That's his nickname, Little Killer. And then he's going to look at you, and you don't think he idolizes you? You're his father, and you big killer. And so therefore, 99.9% .9 chance he's going to be a gang member. And he might be one of those that get, uh, unfortunately, find death at an early age. But what kind of role model are you? Hmm. But now when you hit 30, if you're not out of the gang, you're still an active gang member, something wrong. Now let me explain that this part about active without pulling the trigger of the violence. You can be an active gang member by just the encouragement to commit a crime against another black person another gang. You are an active gang member if you're supplying the weapons to them. And you are an active gang member if you're a big homie and you still perpetuating the shit. When you know you have proxies that will pull the trigger for you. The young homeboys. And, uh, hmm, shit just go in a cycle, man. It just goes in a cycle. And somehow we're going to have to break this cycle, man. We really are. And I challenge anybody over 25, you a gang member? Hey, man, why don't y'all stop, start thinking about it. I'm not saying you have to get out the gang or disavow your gang. No. Gangs are going to be around forever. I'm just saying respect the next man's right to be where he's from. That's all. That's all I'm saying. You from over here, he's from over there. Okay. You know, let him live in peace. He let you live in peace. That's how this go. If we show common respect among the brand, we wouldn't be having this problem. 
Hmm. We wouldn't. But there was a common respect among the brand. Or even if there were OGs who had the nerves or the spirit or the courage to get out and say, and get out in front of us and say, hey man, enough is enough. But no, your silence has helped perpetuating this shit too. You might as well be an active gang member. And that's real talk. And with that, one love.